I have an Irma Work LA-22 barrel here. And one of the things that I discovered about why it's so picky about ammo is the chamber, the 22 chamber, the way that it's cut, it's more of a match depth cut, something that's more designed for a bolt action than, say, a semi-auto. So what happens is that if I try to... See if I can do this with the camera here. If I try to drop in a round in there, it doesn't quite go all the way down on its own. It stops. Okay, for two reasons. The chamber inner diameter is just very tight. And also because the depth is shallow, at about this point right here, you can see how the rim doesn't go all the way down. It's actually starting to hit the rifling. So when I'm at the range and I'm shooting, the toggle, I actually have to push. The toggle will be right here, the, the, um, the barrel, sorry, the, uh, the bolt. It'll be here, and I have to actually push it down to get it to go forward in order for uh, it to fire. In contrast, if I take a, I've got a Ruger old Ruger barrel here and I am going to I'm gonna drop that in there and it just drops down all on its own all the way flush really nice and if I turn it over it just falls right out that doesn't happen with the with the LA-22, and that's, in my opinion, the primary reason why it's considered very picky with the ammo. Now, I found that CCI ammo, the, right here, this is where it's hitting the rifling, and ammo that has these little rings further back is going to hit the rifling later and the solution is believe it or not thunder duds yep remington thunderbolts so it's it's hard to see in this this image here but the point where it actually starts to hit the rifling is a little further back and um so i i found that i can go through 40 50 60 of the remington thunderbolts um, before this starts to get to the point where it's getting it's a little bit gummy and then it, the chamber gets tight. So I've got this Remington Thunderbolt in there and it goes, goes in almost all the way, not quite, but further than the, uh, the CCI Mini Mag and pretty much most of the other ammo that I've tested. Um, if I turn it over, it's still tight. But if I bang it a couple times, it'll pop out. Um, so what happens is, is that you end up needing <clears throat> the extra high velocity of the, uh, of the Thunderbolts in order to make this work, which in my opinion is just not good, um, not good sense and uh, will make this thing not last as long. So what I'm going to do is I've got a reamer. So this is a 22 chamber reamer. And I am going to take that to the, uh, to the chamber on this LA-22 barrel. A friend of mine uh, loaned this to me. He's already done it himself. He basically uh, epoxied in the reamer into this extension. And then I got a T-handle uh, because this, this, the, the, um, the breech is pretty far back in there. So he kind of needed the extension. So I'm going to give that a shot and see how it goes. So I've got the chamber reamer on a T-handle that's going down down there and I've got some lube and I'm going to slowly turn this clockwise very slowly letting it pretty much drop very slowly um, and so I'm turning it very slowly and I've gotten it pretty pretty close to the end there I'm just gonna pull it out clean it and see how far I've gotten before I go any further and you can see the metal that's deposited on there 
as it's reamed out. Okay, so I cleaned out the the machining remnants, ran some brake free through it, cleaning patches, and here is the CCI mini mag. Wow, that just dropped right in. And it's all the way down. And if I turn it over, it just falls out. I am going to stop right there, and then I'm going to see about shooting this thing and see what happens.